Understanding high context versus low context cultures. It's all in the details. Hello, language learners and cultural enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into an exciting realm of cultural understanding, communication styles. One of the most interesting facets of this is the distinction between high context and low context cultures. Ever felt misunderstood or surprised by the way someone from another country communicates? This might be the key to unlocking those mysteries. When we talk about high and low context, we're discussing the amount and type of information that people rely upon to communicate. High context cultures. People in these cultures often rely on shared backgrounds and cultural understandings to convey meaning. Communication tends to be indirect and the listener is expected to read between the lines or understand the context. Examples include Japan, China, and many Arab countries. Low context cultures. Communication in these cultures is often very explicit. Words carry most of the message, and listeners aren't expected to understand unstated nuances. The USA, Canada, and many Western European countries exemplify low context cultures. Understanding whether you're communicating in a high context or low context manner can greatly impact your interactions. Misunderstandings. Someone from a low context culture might feel that a person from a high context culture is being vague or evasive. Conversely, a person from a high context culture might feel that a low context communicator is blunt or even rude. Body language. In high context cultures, nonverbal cues like tone, facial expression, and gestures might be more significant than the actual words spoken. Relationships. High context communication often relies on long standing relationships and shared experiences, which might seem exclusive to outsiders. On the other hand, low context communication values clarity and directness, which can be seen as impersonal. When engaging with people from different cultural backgrounds, 1. Observe. Pay attention to nonverbal cues. They can tell you a lot, especially in high context cultures. 2. Ask questions. If you're unsure, it's okay to ask for clarification. 3. Be patient. Understand that the way people communicate is deeply rooted in their cultural experiences. Patience can bridge many gaps. 4. Stay open minded. Be ready to adapt your communication style. Remember, understanding is a two way street. In the globalized world of today, Understanding communication styles across different cultures is more crucial than ever. We hope this dive into high context and low context cultures enlightens your interactions and brings a newfound appreciation for the nuances of communication. Until next time, keep exploring, learning, and connecting.